everyone. I want to show you a really quick and easy way using two of Unique's brow products to just kind of create a natural uh, looking eyebrow look. So the first one is our eyebrow pencil and it comes in light, medium, and dark. Today I'm using the medium. And then I'm also going to use our brow gel at the end and that has our uplift eye serum in it and it also has um, tiny fibers like our mascara does so it's going to fill in any sparse spots that you need. It also comes in light, medium, and dark and I'm going to be using medium today. So basically the rule of thumb, um, and as you can see my brows are fairly dark, they're just a little bit sparse in the beginning and um, tailing off at the end. So your rule of thumb is if you were to lay a pencil up the side of your nose, you want the beginning of your brow to start where that pencil is lying there. So you can see I have a little bit of area where I don't have any hair growth and so I'm going to fill that in in a natural way. And then the arch of your brow, you want to be the center of your eye and then the tail end of your brow, you want to be right at the corner of your eye. So this has a spoolie, a little brush on the end, and so what I'm gonna do is brush this hair in an upward motion, and then my the sides, you just brush down. So get them groomed well with the spoolie, and then you're gonna use the pencil end. And the thing I like about our pencil is it's a very fine uh, point to the pencil, and you roll it up, you don't need, to, need a sharpener, you just roll it up to get more of the pencil lead in there. Uh, the pencil color in there and so I usually will just put kind of a little dot where I know I want this the beginning of my brow to start and then I just use kind of put my pinky on my face and then just use little stroke like motions that are going to kind of mimic the same as your hair would grow. I'm going to look down in this mirror too as I'm doing it just to make sure I get it in the right location but you basically just use these little fine hair like uh, strokes and then I fill in at the bottom of the brow and fill in any uh, sparse spots that I may have in the beginning. And then you trace the top of your brow. And then I trace the bottom of my brow. And then I just fill in any sparse spots there on, um, again, just kind of using that hair-like motion. And then I will kind of tail off the color to where it reaches kind of the corner corner of my eye. So I'll do that. And then when I get it all filled in how I, how I want it, I'm gonna go back and use the spoolie end because I don't like a real harsh uh, look to my brow and so I'm gonna brush that color and soften it just a little bit. I wanna make sure I don't have any lines that are real visible that I can see. And so I basically just brush that color through. And so you can see that it just adds a little bit of dimension. It frames my eye a little bit better than this one does. And then I will take the brow gel when I'm finished and just, it comes on a little, like a mascara wand, a small one. And then I just kind of brush the hair going up here. And then I'll go across and brush it this way. And it just, again, it just adds any little, it fills in any little sparse spots and then it just um, keeps the brows going in the right uh, right direction. So anyway, you can see that that does, it definitely uh, frames your face a little bit better. It doesn't look unnatural. Um, and then, like I said, this is the one that I have that I don't have a lot of hair on. So anyway, simple and fast, these two products, you can buy them separately or you can buy them together as a set and save a little bit of money that way. So hope that was helpful, bye.